Hi, today I want to show you this little pulse motor. It is similar to other pulse motors that I built before. It has four neodymium magnets and also four coils and a magnetic switch. The magnetic switch closes every time a magnet passes near the switch and that energizes the coils that attract the magnets and that makes the rotor turn. The coils are handmade. Each one has 1000 turns of very fine wire. It's gauge 42AWG and they are connected in series. The axle of the rotor is a needle that rests on a small magnet. And here we have a copper wire. With these motors one looks for the lowest possible energy consumption so that they can run for a very long time with a small battery. And for that one needs a coil or coils of very fine wires and many turns. Why is that? The formula for the magnetic field of a coil is the magnetic permeability times the number of turns times the current in the coil divided by the diameter. The permeability and the diameter are constants, so we can only play with the number of turns and the current. So, if we want less current, then we have to increase the number of turns. And in this way, if we have more turns, we need to use finer wire, which has a higher resistance, and then automatically we will have less current in the coil. This is because of Ohm's law that say that current equals voltage divided by resistance. If the resistance of the coil is higher, then for the same voltage we will have less current in the coil. Let's see the motor run. I have connected the multimeter to check the current draw. And I'm going to turn on the power supply at a voltage of 0.2 volts. And now the motor starts to move. We can see that the motor draws a current of less than 0.2 milliamps in average. And I say average because the motor only consumes power when one of the magnets is near the magnetic switch. Here the motor is connected but it is not drawing current because we have no magnets near the magnetic switch. Once a magnet is closed, the motor starts to draw current and when the magnet passes, again the current falls to zero. My goal with this motor was to make it room from this small solar cell using the light of the room, not the sunlight. However, as you can see, the motor does not work. The solar cell has not enough power. However, if we place a capacitor, this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor, if we place it in parallel with the solar cell, let's see if the motor runs.
There it goes. Now the motor is running with the capacitor in parallel with the solar cell. Why the motor now runs and does not run without the capacitor? The reason is that, as we mentioned before, the motor only draws current from the solar cell when the magnetic switch is closed. When the magnet passes, the red switch opens and the energy of the cell goes nowhere. But if we add a capacitor, the capacitor will charge when the motor is off and then gives back the energy when the red switch closes. And that increases the available energy for the motor.